All right, this video is going to be about implicit differentiation, um, which is really kind of just the chain rule, um, you know, and all the other rules that you already know. Um, but we'll see how that works out. So we're going to do two examples, really. Uh, so the first one is we want to find the derivative dy dx for uh, this given uh, relation here. And uh, I don't know, maybe it's possible to solve for y, but it's going to be difficult. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, use implicit differentiation which means uh, I'll take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to x. Um, so I set it up like this, and now on this left-hand side, uh, the derivative of x squared, well, actually, the most important part is do not forget that on the right-hand side, or the derivative of a constant is zero. People always forget that. Uh, it makes the derivative look really complicated when you're done, and it won't even be right. Um, so derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of y cubed is uh, 3y squared, but remember, y is a function of x, so we need to use the chain rule there. So it's 3y squared, and then dy dx. And then the derivative of negative 2y is negative 2, but again, the chain rule gives us a dy dx. And then on the right-hand side, the derivative of constant is 0, so don't forget that. Um, now I need to just solve for dy dx, so I'm going to move the uh, 2x to the other side get that, and then uh, factor out the dy dx, and then finally divide. So in this case I get negative 2x over 3y squared minus 2. Uh, if this is like a multiple choice type question, be aware that uh, frequently negatives get kind of distributed and worked in, things like that. So I took that negative from the numerator and I distributed it to the denominator. Um, so that's how you'd find dy dx. Um, we had to use the chain rule. And uh, don't forget the derivative of constant is zero. Uh, let's take a look at another example. We want the uh, tangent line at the point 2, negative 2 um, to this relation here where I'm confident I would not be able to solve for y. Um, okay, so again, we're going to use implicit. So in this case, it's going to be a little more complicated because uh, we have variables on both sides, plus we have a product there. So it's first, derivative of the second, so the derivative of y squared is 2y, but don't forget your dy dx. The bottom line is, when you take the derivative of anything that has y in it, you're going to need to throw in a dy dx by the chain rule. Um, so that's first, derivative of the second, and then plus second, which is y squared, derivative of the first is 2x. And then the derivative of, uh, so that was the derivative of that whole thing there, that's just the product rule. And then derivative of negative 2x is negative 2, that's the left hand side, equals the derivative of 4 is just 0, so then we get the derivative of negative 4y is negative 4, and then a dy dx. Now, since I'm finding the uh, tangent line, I'm not going to go through and solve for dy dx, which would probably be difficult, um, so I'm going to turn this into a really simple algebra problem by substituting it at this point. So I'm going to substitute the point 2, negative 2. So that gives me a uh, it's going to be uh, 2 squared is 4 times negative 4 is negative 16, dy dx. And then uh, I get 4 times 4, so plus 16, still a minus 2, equals negative 4 dy dx. And that's so much easier to solve for, so I'm going to solve uh, for dy dx. Uh, bring everything, you know, all the dy dx's to one side, all the constants to the other, divide through here. So dy dx is 7 sixths, which is almost the question, but the question was, what's the tangent line? So uh, point slope form here, y minus y0 equals m, and then x minus x0. So that gives me the equation of the tangent line. So that's two examples of implicit differentiation. It's not really very difficult, but uh, you do have to make sure that you don't forget to take the derivative of both sides, which means the derivative of a constant might end up being 0. That happens a lot. Um, and also, it's easier when you do have to find it at a particular point, easier to plug in right after taking the derivative than it is to solve for dy dx and then substitute in. Um, so I kind of recommend you do that. All right. Um, I hope that was helpful. Good luck.